I'm with Gaddy Solotarevsky, who's a CTO for Civitia and also an ambassador for the TM Forum. Gaddy, thank you very much for taking the time. We're at a TM Forum event, in fact, in Singapore, and you've, you've been talking. What, what were you talking about here? I talk about the use of big data and data analytics to create better offers to the clients, better pricing plans, and to target the right tar price plan to the right customer. And in difference to what people did in the past in which they spoke about big segments of customers, we're speaking now about targeting to micro segments or even one customer segments. So really new ideas that are important because the old way of doing things is not good enough to, for today. And what, what is Savidia's advantage in, in this, uh, this pitch you've been doing or in proposition? So when you try to do this kind of big data analytics, there are two very important things, to being able to do the analytics part, but to being able to get the big data, all the information you need for doing this. Cividia, in his role in many operators as revenue assurance system, as fraud management system, already involved in getting this data, already have this data. Getting the data normally is a very costly part of the project. So we start from the moment that we already have the data and then we just need to do the next step. Where I, if you don't work with Civitia, you need to do both things, get the data and then starting to do the analytics. So, so there's a big advantage for your existing clients. Yes. What, what about for new ones? For new clients, we can offer a very good deal because you can do the data importing once and use it for fraud management, revenue assurance, and also for data analytics. And if you have the data already in other systems, we can integrate the data. So an operator may have one system for revenue assurance, another system for fraud management, a data warehouse, and each of these systems is a kind of silos. Our technology permits to bring together all these silos to give you a unified view and then to use this data. You don't have to import all the data from scratch to the Cividia system. I understand now you're, you're in two uh, catalysts coming up in Nice at the ETM Forum event in May as well. What, what are these uh, catalysts? Okay, so first, Catalyst for Cividia is a very important tool. We try to use Catalyst to develop new ideas, to test them with the industry, with the community, and then to bring them to the product. Not to do what many companies do, is first do something in a product, mm. and let's say, see what the industry is thinking about it. So catalysts are really important for us to check innovation. We are focusing two catalysts for NIST. Nice. One is focused on updating the revenue assurance maturity model. The revenue assurance maturity model is widely used in the industry, but it's a little bit all dated. It was developed about six, seven years ago and revenue assurance changed a lot since then. So the idea is to take it to put it in a more modern way that really fits the needs of revenue assurance. And we integrate this model with other models in our product to give a complete view. So we have in our product uh, the revenue assurance risk management model, the revenue assurance KPIs, all those defined by TMF methodology. And now we will add to the products the maturity model and will permit our clients to have a complete view of their situation and to be able to take the next actions. So this is one very exciting catalyst. The other catalyst that is very important for us is also a catalyst that speaks about security, sharing security information. And there, this is a kind of special catalyst because normally operators don't want to share information. And several operators, big operators came and say, you know what, about security, we want to share information. So Civiti has a platform for sharing information, fraud information and security information. And what is special about this platform is that we don't only take the side of security, but also the side of fraud, because normally these two aspects give you the complete picture. And we can use it to share information between service providers, but we can use it also for doing crowdsourcing, getting information directly from the handsets and putting everything together to see what are the real alarms, real threats, 
to generate the information. So the time from detecting a problem in a certain area and the time that the world will know about it and will take actions will be relatively short. Okay, well, it sounds like there's some really real things to look at in Nice. I look forward to seeing you there and uh, seeing, seeing the catalysts. Great. Thank so you see very you in much. Nice. Thank you.